Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am so excited that you are here because I have a country Christmas craft to share with you today. Now, this video is in collaboration with uh, Courtney from Creative on the Cheap. She also is doing a country Christmas craft. So I will have her channel video linked below in the description box. And uh, you can check out Courtney's video after you watch mine. If you're coming over from Courtney's channel, welcome. I am Tracy. I love to share crafty ideas with a bit of rustic country charm, um, just like kind of like uh, Courtney does. Anyway, so if you like her stuff, maybe you'll like my stuff too. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the country Christmas craft. Okay, what I've created here is some rustic Christmas trees using those tree forms from the Dollar Tree. Now, I know that these little tree forms sell out so quick, and so many of you have shared them over in the Country Charm community, as well as sent me private messages asking, where can I get more of these tree forms? Because you saw my rustic trees that I did last year here on my channel. Uh, I took some tree forms from the Dollar Tree as well as Dollar General and created these adorable little trees. I will have it linked in the description below as well as in the iCard. Now I want to let you in on a little secret. That green tree is using a wooden star from the Dollar Tree. What I did is I just took off the points of the little star and created a little Christmas tree out of it. Okay, so I made sure that one of the tips that I was going to cut off on that star um, is that that's one that had the hole in it because I didn't want a hole in my tree. And so then what I did is put some shelf liner. I like to use this for um, my projects and you know, it just kind of helps stabilize it so my mat doesn't move. And then I have a box cutter from the Dollar Tree. I was kind of struggling with it just a little bit bit. Um, so I am just, you know, taking off those two tips. I have my sanding little block from the Dollar Tree as well and just sand off any parts of the tree that, you know, need to come off. And I just love the little shape of it and the little tree turned out really cute. These are the scrapbook paper I'm using. They're both from Hobby Lobby and a uh, Paper Studio brand. Now I just trace out the uh, tree form. Now I know this uh, green one is an eight and a half by 11 sheet. I didn't see any of the 12 by 12s in this green and uh, I really wanted to use that for my tree. So um, you could use the, um, you know, extra. You could glue that on there or Mod Podge that on there, or uh, I'm not worried about it because that rusty star is going to cover it. Anyway, so just doing the same thing with the red and black buffalo check. I'm just cutting out, um, you know, with my scissors. And um, just a tip, if you move your paper and not your scissors, you have a cleaner cut and it just helps a little bit. So um, before I Mod Podge on um, you know, to these wooden trees, I want to paint them. I'm using moss green for the green and crimson red for the uh, red and black one. And I just go ahead and paint um, a bit of the, you know, around the edges and then as well as the back. Uh, yeah, um, you know, should have used a larger brush, but I didn't feel like pouring it out on a, you know, on my plate or anything. So, you know, I just did it the hard way. Anyway, so um, now I'm doing the same thing with the red. And what I decided on that tree is I decided to cut off the trunk of the tree. So I didn't paint that. And uh, I probably, you know, if I would have thought about it before, I would have cut that off before I painted it, but it all worked out. So just using some Mod Podge, I just put a thin layer of Mod Podge on the little wooden tree. And then I take my paper and I smooth that out uh, with my squeegee, getting any of the excess out uh, like excess Mod Podge. I just use a little baby wipe to uh, get out 
uh, or to clean off my little scraper. And um, I don't put a layer of Mod Podge on top of my project until the uh, bottom is completely dry. That helps alleviate the bubbles. And I found on this black and red buffalo check that some of the edges didn't stick down too good. So I just reinforce them with a little bit of Mod Podge. Okay, these are all the trims that I'm using for my tree. Um, uh, when I start working with them, I will tell you exactly what store I got them from. Now, this trim right here came from Walmart. This little jute um, with the little... I don't know, lace cording. And then those two came from Walmart as well, back in the fabric section. This one right here came from Hobby Lobby. And uh, so what I'm gonna do is use this one first. There's no really rhyme or reason. I just wanted something that I could glue on there that would kind of mask those um, points from that tree. So just using some hot glue, I'm just going to put a bead of hot glue on there and then just uh, glue my little uh, trim to that. I just love how this little tree is coming together with all the little trims. Then now I have these little uh, pit berries with the mini jingle bells. It comes on a little uh, strand like this over at Joann's. I got them over at Joann's. Anyway, I just cut them and just glue them on the sides there. I did not wrap them all the way around. I actually just formed it around the edge, just hot glued it in place and kind of curled it around my finger a little bit so that it would all, you know, look really cute. Now this ribbon is also from Joann's and I'm just making a simple little bow and I just put it on the edges and that kind of helps cover up any of the hot glue that may be showing. I just made a knot in the middle and just trimmed off the, uh, the ends and then just hot glued that. Then in the middle, I will um, tie on a little bow. I 
I found this pack of wood slices over at Hobby Lobby. I used my 40% off coupon. I'm going to use that as well as a 12 inch uh, wooden dowel. Uh, the 3 8 inch is the uh, size that these dowels are. And um, uh, what I'm showing you here is I am going to drill uh, a 3 8 inch hole so that I can fit my dowel in there so that my little tree will stand up. Here are my rusty stars. Now these are three dimensional and I want them to be flat. So I just put them on my table and just took my palm and just flattened them out so that they would lay flat. And uh, you know, that just what is what works for my little project here. Um, I just hot glued them at the top. I did the same thing with this red and black uh, buffalo check. I just decided to use the tassels uh, on the buffalo check because I didn't want to overdo the tree. I uh, just glued the rusty star on the top of that. I painted the dowels brown and then just glued them into the little wood slice to make sure that they stand up. I added some Excelsior to the uh, wood slices because I thought that it gave it a little decorative touch as well as some greeneries and some red berries. To the uh, red and black buffalo check, I added the black and white ribbon. It is a 5 8 inch ribbon and I added a little bow to that red rusty star on the green tree. I just love the way that these turned out and I hope that you do too. I appreciate you all for watching and thank you to Courtney for participating with me in this collaboration and I hope that we can do one in the near future again. All right guys we will talk to you very soon and uh, you all have a great day and God bless. <music>